we are here at Serif Bird Giants and we are with Animesh. How are you, my friend? I'm very well, thanks for How are you course. feeling? Very are you nervous, good. excited? Well, of course I'm nervous, but nerves are always good, but yeah, very excited. Absolutely yeah. agree. And you're Use in that. Conics? Yes, I'm in Conics. And here today at Siri for the first production of Perth Giants. Yeah. Congratulations even just for being here. Thanks so much. And what are you looking for today from our Giants? Uh, so today we're going to be asking for $3 million in exchange for 10% equity in our business. You heard that. $3 million is wanting for 10%. So that's a valuation of $30 million. That's correct. Absolutely Dream exciting. Yeah. Coming yeah. from Stand by. Aim for the sky time mission. We wish you the best. Cheers. Awesome. Good afternoon Giants, my name is Animesh and I'm a co-founder of Enconics and the manager of Marketing and Growth. I'm a lad from Leaming originally, but recently I made the brave change and moved north of the river and currently live in Double Today I'll be asking for $3 million in exchange for a 10% equity stake in our business, Enconics. Enconics is a company which demystifies the decarbonisation journey for the built and developing property sector. What that means is that we combine the very best in technology with decades of experience in sustainability into a platform that allows our users to understand what their emissions profile is. This means scope one, scope two, and scope three emissions in real time. You might be wondering why that matters. The reason is because providing that granularity of data allows us to use artificial intelligence and machine learning to make sure our clients actually achieve their net zero journey. Along the way, as an added benefit, the bottom line improves also. We've been around for three years now. We have numerous clients in both the local government and private sectors, and those clients are benefiting from these technologies as well as continue, continuing to add our products throughout their asset portfolios. What this indicates is the value in our technology, as well as the traction that we're finding as a business. Now, you might be wondering what, you know, an outstanding valuation, massive one. And the reason is because it's the opportunity at hand. There are other companies in this sector which do not have technologies which are quite as proven as ours or extensive as ours. The carbon markets are already valued at 10 to hundreds of billions of dollars, depending on which atmosphere you happen to see on St. George's Terrace. What we are providing is an opportunity to take a technology which is commercially proven, not at MVP or prototype stage, and support us as a team to expand this further into the eastern states and other parts of Australia, which we've already started doing, as well as internationally. Thank you for your time, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. I must have been excited when uh, the Labor government got voted in and, and came out with um, uh, a target uh, for Absolutely. Australia, which moved things forward. Absolutely. Um, that's obviously an important part. Mm -hmm. um, how are you deriving your revenue? Because you've got some significant revenue forecasts there in yep. the presentation. Thanks for the presentation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're talking sort of uh, current year, somewhere around three quarters of a mil or thereabouts. Year three, 26 mil. Year five, 110 mil. Just um, there's some significant growth there. Yes, there is. So uh, you touched on obviously the legislative side of things. That's only really a more recent thing, something before I did those numbers. So we feel that we've actually been quite conservative in our DCF and also um, comparative uh, entity analysis. Um, we feel that that growth is reasonable because now where you've got you know, legislative requirements coming in, there's going to be an increasing use in that customer base. But the reality of it is that the benefits to carbon outcomes is just a secondary thing. So we have papers published in IEEE which actually show that just implementing technologies such as this immediately showed that you percent benefit in your uh, consumption, which is then felt immediately in your the bottom line. How big do you think your market is? The, our market? Um, if you're looking at just the, the property sector, um, I guess that would be 40% of that you know, 50 to $100 billion carbon market. So um, it's quite substantive. And in Australia, we love property. So you know, it's very topical over here. And as people continue to care about their decarbonisation and their net zero journey, then this solution would be more and more sought in the market. 
Yeah, I guess the potential is huge with you know carbon emissions, 39% of carbon emissions coming from the built yes. environment and construction operation, and mm -hmm. everyone's focused on it now. So you mentioned that you've already got some existing clients. Who are, who are those? Can you give us some examples? Yes, of course. So I'll, I'll just actually say that what you touched on there is the built environment, so that's actually existing infrastructure. Mm. Um, a lot of technologies coming out are talking about a brand new development and how do we decarbonise that, but the vast majority will probably out there already exists, so we offer a solution for the built environment. Um, if we go back to what kind of clients that we have, so in the local government space, we're working with the City of Melbourne uh, mm -hmm. quite extensively. Uh, they've been champions for our solution, as well as City of Armadale, City of Wanneroo, Town of Victoria Park. Uh, we've also worked with the likes of Power Ledger, uh, Comfort Inn, and other small to medium business enterprises in motels and hotels as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, getting support from local councils, and I presume that's around sort of developments, new development applications, etc. Yes. State government support? Any state government support there at this stage? Um, not yet. Um, I think probably the maybe uh, working more in the areas we're looking to be working with development W <coughs> quite recently, um, and they obviously own obviously what they do own um, twenty percent of the market share for land development in Western Australia. Uh, they're champions for innovation, so we're hoping that that will take us beyond just WA, also being a trailblazer for the developers in, in the country um, and. You know, and are there platforms like this over east and overseas? Or? Yes, there are. So there's a platform, probably one of the most interesting competitors that we have is called Bid Energy, mm -hmm. um, or Bid, sorry, Bill Identity, not Bid Energy. Um, they were recently uh, acquired by a group called Optima for $225 million. Um, so what they do is they actually look at historical data, so physical invoices um, or potentially sent through, um, you know, whatever existing APIs that they have to look at those bills and they historically present that data. Again, that's only scope one and two and not scope three emissions. We're getting the wind up here, I'm just conscious you look asking for 10%, does that mean there's still 100% within the firm at this stage or have you got other investors? No, at this stage it's 100% work completely with structure. So this is your first percentage you're looking at outside? Yeah, first percentage, first bit. Uh, what I'd be interested in knowing is what sort of uh, cost that you should run the organisation. Mm -hmm. These are revenue figures in year two of 26 million. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, your, what's your overheads to do that? Um, the overheads to do that, um, I'd probably answer that in saying that we're looking at in close to year four or five point where it would be break even. I'd have to go back to our DCF model to say exactly what the overheads would be at that point. Year four or five to break even? Um, to be, I guess, uh, free cash flow at break even. Possibly. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.